We are tracking reaction from the U of A where President Robert Robbins says he's resigning. And this comes as the university is working to recover from a financial crisis and Governor Katie Hobbs has criticized his leadership. As you may recall, Robbins voluntarily cut his salary by 10% last month. He wanted to show he was committed to helping the university recover from a $177 million shortfall. But he's recently faced scrutiny after a report in the Arizona Republic claimed he was aware of the financial crisis when the university acquired Ashford University last year. And he's set to leave before his contract ends in 2026. 13 News reporter Andres Rendon is live on campus gathering reaction to this. Andres, what are you hearing? Well, Valerie, a lot of the students and faculty members are saying the same thing, that President Robbins resigning is a step in the right direction. However, they're also saying they're not sure exactly where the school is going to be since so many changes were already announced. I hadn't seen this president take accountability up until then. Others seem to be on the same page. These are not unsolvable problems. The institution is a wealthy institution. And from the perspective of the faculty, a lot of the crisis has been about the mismanagement of our abundant resources. Some students agree saying Robin's decision negatively impacts students on campus, such as the sudden halt of the guaranteed tuition program. Cost is important and having that guarantee that you will pay that one rate of tuition throughout all the four years is really crucial for a lot of students. Other faculty members are more than happy after reading Robin's email this morning, saying he should have stepped down for issues beyond the financial crisis. This is about the Ashford University acquisition. The U.S. Department of Education is now positing that we may even have to pay back that $80 million. Even Robin's attitude and lack of communication was deemed not appropriate. This administration and the administrators on this campus continually ignore the will of students, faculty, and staff. Despite the uncertainty, there is confidence the leadership and financial issues will be quickly resolved. In our solidarity, in our community, so I don't think it's going to take long before we are back to our old glory. All right, now President Robbins is expected to leave his position at the end of his contract. That's going to be on June 30th, 2026, unless a replacement is found before then. However, a lot of the community members here on campus say that students up to professors should all be represented in those selection committees when it comes to choosing who will lead the U of A next. Live at the University of Arizona, Andres Rendon, 13.